Hi guys, Merry Christmas Eve. I just wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and um, I hope you guys are all enjoying some time with family today and tomorrow and um, yeah, I wanted to show you under our tree and I had to do this quickly because pretty soon my son's going to be here and we're going to open presents. That's kind of what we do. That is our tradition in our family. Um, in the Czech culture, we celebrate, I'm trying to get out of this glare. We celebrate um, on Christmas Eve rather than Christmas Day. So we always just had a nice dinner and then um, Santa would come while we were eating and we would run upstairs, you know, and check and see if, gran if grandpa, if Santa came and um, and then all of a sudden there, boom, there he was. And um, when we were all little, it would be, you know, my dad would go up there and quickly put all the presents under the tree and then, um, oh gosh, and then as I got older and my little sister was still, you know, believing in Santa, then um, one of us, maybe myself or my dad would run up there and put the presents under the tree and it was always so much fun to say, oh, you know, Jenny, go see if Santa came and then she would go up there and say, he came, he came, it was so much fun. But um, anyway, look at this. You guys want to laugh? All right, look at this wrapping job. <laughs> that is my wrapping job for a uh, present for our new grandson, Noah. And yes, as you can see, I ran out of paper. And by this point, after wrapping all these presents, I was not going to go, you know, mess around with rewrapping that. But this is the most I think we've ever had under this tree. I don't know how there are so many presents, but I think it's because now my son is starting to buy presents for people and they're mixed in under there. And, you know, some of these are things we're bringing over to my mom's and um, there's our tree. And, ooh, look at that. That other thing you see on there is the uh, Wi-Fi wire my laptop is giving me some trouble so I've had to wire the connection up to our router up there but yeah so as soon as my son gets here we're gonna get to opening these uh, press these presents and some of them will go to my mom's with us later and um, we'll open some more there and then my sons go to their dad's house and they open some tonight and then they open some more tomorrow it is a long Christmas for these guys so yeah and then I think I'm going to switch my bags into my the tradition my traditional Christmas bag um, okay enough of this so I've been carrying Gretchen for the last few days and I've really been enjoying this bag this is the easiest Dooney to carry in my opinion it is other than those hobos um, so yeah, I've really been loving this one, but it's been tradition for me to carry this beautiful bag on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. So I think I'm going to do that, but I'm really torn because um, you guys might know I have that duck sitting under the tree and that's a green bag, so that'd be really cute for Christmas too. But I think I'm going to keep to tradition and carry this bag because I don't carry this bag that much and... You know how perfect is it on Christmas so yeah isn't she pretty in this lighting she is showing I think pretty true to color I mean she is just such a beautiful vibrant red this is the pebbled leather or the pebble grain small satchel it's not the Florentine and everything on this bag is red the stitching there the whip stitching, the zip tape, the, um, th the thread, you know, the stitching on the bag. And it's a shiny gold tone versus the um, matte or the satin gold tone that's on the Florentine. So I really love that about this bag. The only thing right here, this thing has gotten kind of won wonky. When you mess with these, I feel like when I mess with these, the, the knot on here, I can never get it to how it was before. This side looks okay, but that side looks kind of funky. 
but I'm using that tripod again and I feel like there maybe that's better I feel like it's a little too high and now you can't see and plus this so bright outside today it's not sunny but it's bright and it's coming in the window so everything on this bag is red and I love that charm on there but it is quite a noisemaker it's a little bit noisy I don't know I've got all kinds of stuff in here I've been sticking with this bag organizer even though it doesn't really match the red inside there but you know me I'm not all about matchy matchy so uh, I do like to coordinate but I just was too lazy to take everything out of here but look at how easy this is I just have a couple more things on the outside of this in here like my glasses and this Louis Vuitton what recording? Yeah. yeah oh I thought I was disturbing you well come on in and say hi John's here Hello. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> we're, we're, doing? we're viewing purses here, and yeah. it's got this one. Got the things on it. Um, the DBs. The DBs. Logos. Got this one here. What is this? That's uh, that's LV, so I think I know what that means. But that's What the, did I say I wanted this morning? Um, One of these guys. What's it called? Uh, yeah, Louis Vuitton. Yay! Is it he real? Knows. Is it real? This is real, yes. Oh my gosh. I ordered it pre-loved on eBay though. It's used, but look at how perfect it is. It's perfect condition. And then we got this one here and it's red. Hey. <laughs> this is my, this is going to be my new, uh, not new, but I've been carrying this on Christmas every Oh, year. did they not see it yet and I just showed them? No, no, they saw it. This one was my Christmas bag last year and I did a video on it. So I'm keeping is, to tradition. That's and the Christmas bag. Using this. Yes. Christmas for Christmas bag. all the time, so. Yeah, so uh, back to you. Thank you. Thanks Bye. for stopping by. <laughs> John, right. everybody. I'm going to close the bathroom door. It smells bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one, I don't know where were we. And I've been also, thanks, John. He's closing the door. Apparently, I must be disturbing him. But I've also been using this one still for my um, Logo Lock Hobo. Yeah, so, you know what? It probably doesn't even matter if I have makeup on because you probably wouldn't even see it with this light. But anyway, so yeah, everything is just in here and that's it. That is, I believe, that is all I had in here and that's how easy it is to switch bags. And so I know now my switching of the bags uh, videos are boring because that's all this really consists of. So, I do like to keep a certain side in the front because I know where everything is in here and then I don't even have to look. I just reach inside my bag to grab stuff. I can just feel around for it, you know, and fits like a glove in here, guys. This is going to be kind of tight in the small satchel. I'll stick it behind, but, you know, maybe I do need to take the bag organizer out. It is white. No, oh, actually it fits pretty well once I wedge it in there. There we go. Everything's got its place. The only thing with this bag is the small mouth opening that people complain about. So, oh, this bag is so pretty. It's even prettier on camera right now than in person, just with this lighting. I guess I have the over light, overhead light on. So here we go, guys, Christmas bag. And I did shorten this the way that um, that note to Janeth showed on her video. The only thing is this thing. I need to put, you know, like, I wish I had a keeper on here, one of these leather keepers, but it doesn't get around the whole thing. So I maybe need to put some sort of a twist tie or something on there, because that's kind of weird. But yeah, love it. And, and I've got the little charm on there, the DB charm too. Those are at the outlets, so. No, I actually I didn't get those at the outlet. Well, I think I got one at the outlet, and then I ordered one on I Love Dooney because they were on there too and on sale, and I didn't feel like taking another ride out to the outlet, and I just wanted to have a second one to put on other bags, I guess. So, I guess that's it. Um, 
later on we'll just be going over to my mom's and that's a tradition that's been a tradition my whole life um, and we've kept it so uh, we will be having Gizek which is traditional um, breaded pork fried fried breaded pork and potato salad and she'll probably make mashed potatoes I don't know she usually does for the people who don't like potato salad which I don't know why anybody wouldn't like potato salad because my mom's is awesome but um yeah and her friend will be coming over and her friend's husband so uh, my sister and brother-in-law and nephews used to come to town but now they like to stay home because they like to have the traditional wake up in the morning you know Santa came Christmas for the kids and hopefully when they get a little older they'll come back to Chicago and join us again for Christmas Eve because it's fun to have everybody there um, so yeah that's it I hope you guys all are gonna have a very nice Christmas Eve and Christmas tomorrow and um, again thank you for all your support I just love you that is from uh, Tracy B that's her line so I'm gonna give her credit on that one but um thanks guys and um, have a Merry Christmas bye guys Josh is here! Yay! Josh is here! Merry Christmas! Merry We're Christmas. vlogging. Can I hug the vlog? Yes. Hello vlog. <laughs> hey John. How you doing brother? Brother's got it. Sorry, he's a man. It's okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, what? I can't shake your hand. My thumb is really swollen. Oh my gosh, let me see it. Stupid. <gasps> Oh my gosh, snowboarding injury from yesterday. It hurts. Hey, dude. What? All right. Now we're just waiting Don't for Bob to get home so that we can open presents. Why? I was going to show you something cool. Where? On your car? Yeah. Did you already stuff? All right, fine. I'll go look at it. <laughs> I got to put my bag down. Got my face on. Well, I don't think I did my neck very well. I don't think I ever showed you this funny thing in my bathroom. Look at that funny picture that's in our bathroom. I don't think anything of it because I just plopped it up there one day. It was like in the hallway and I thought, oh, this wall needs a picture. And now I bet you when my son's friends come over and they come in here and they see this, they probably think I'm crazy. That's my eye. <laughs> and there's Creed. And a picture I took from our garden and me looking pensively onto the floor. But I know I need to exchange these pictures out of here and put something bathroom-like, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I think I need some better blending. But I don't know. Put some more bronzer on my neck to match. So I'm burning this one in my burner right now, which I prefer the scent of better than this one. This one is from Target. And this one, I probably got at Target, but last year maybe. I don't know, I just found it in the, in the drawer there. And um, I do prefer this, it smells more like pine. This smells more, I don't know, like perfumey, I guess. There's a few different scents in here. Frosted Pine, Candy Cane, and Holiday Cheer, and um, but I really like this one. I'm making myself a third cup of coffee, and this I got at Sam's Club yesterday. It's really, really good. Old fashioned sour cream coffee crumb cake. It was really tasty. I did split up some of it to bring to my mom's and to give to her friend and I baked some cookies last night. These are my my infamous chocolate chip cookies that everybody raves about. So no secret guys, it's the Joel House recipe. But the secret is in the way you bake them. You have to bake them exactly to the right time and they look like they're underdone but then when they cool they taste good. They're, they're good. So, this has a bottle of wine in there. It's a really cute little Santa dude. 
Um, funny story about that Santa dude. I had an extra bottle of wine that I usually have, you know, a bottle or two behind the bread box over there. And I, I put the bottle in there to make that guy stand up. And then the next weekend when I was looking, you know, to have a glass of wine, I thought, I know I had another bottle. I don't know where did, where did it go? I started thinking my son took it which he does not drink wine, so that was kind of odd that he would take it. Plus, he doesn't ever take things without asking. So I was like, where did it go? I know I had one. Maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe I didn't have one. And so I went out and I got another one. And then just last week, randomly, I realized that it was in that dude. <laughs> My husband says, okay, we're going to put you in the home. Gotta give the hubby props. Look at what I found in my stocking, guys. Those are mini bottles. Look at these three guys. And now it's too late to ask. Eating Christmas Eve pancakes. Watching impractical jokers. How rude. It's Christmas morning Watching pancakes. Impractical jokers. Bob is obsessed with that show. It's on probably 24 hours a day, and all I hear is him laughing in the basement. <laughs> I had to vlog this, guys. Look at this baby. <laughs> He's dressed up like Santa Claus. We should do this Let too. Me... too. Why can't we get his hand around this beer bottle? Grandpa, no. Holding... No, no. You're going to be... They... And look at this, guys. <laughs> Okay. Let me see. Did you? You can't see it. Bobby's house of fried chicken. Selfie. Selfie time. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Oh, bah humbug. Yeah. Bah humbug. Bah humbug. He's crying. Okay. 